Today on Tuner Time, we get to check out Chevy's legendary C8 Corvette, the eighth generation mid-engine supercar. Hey guys, it's Lance and this is why I drive a 2021 C8 Corvette. the car because it's fast I love it a lot and it is a great investment uh, out of all the cars I've owned probably number one because it's just the fastest car super reliable it could be a daily driver easily and it's got plenty of space it's got a front truck and a little trunk room in the back I say definitely the number one car so far that I've had Oh, the steering wheel, square steering wheel. I never, you never would have thought how much sense a square steering wheel would make, but it's just the greatest design I've ever seen on a car. And on top of that, the car is cockpit. They made it straight, strictly for a driver. It's like driving a fighter jet. I would say, yeah, it has legend status. I mean, that thing's been a staple in movies since the 60s. Like that's an amazing car all the way from the C2, I would say all the way to the C8 now. I've seen that car in plenty of movies and it's gonna stay a staple of movies till whenever they discontinue it, if they discontinue it. They treat you really good, they treat you like a celebrity. It honestly gets a lot of attention. When it first came out, actually, not a lot of people know that the C8 Corvette went mid-engine. So people will come up to me like, is that a Ferrari, is that a McLaren, this and that? And I'm just like, no, nah, it's just a Corvette. But yeah, that, that car is a showstopper to this day. It probably will be for a very long time too. I actually have two, so I have one in white, and that's actually my favorite color, but white gets dirty just so easily. You drive that car from the car wash home, and it's just already dirty. And then the red, just when you think of Corvette, you know, everybody thinks of the, the Corvette red. It's always been the staple for that car. So I'd say that, honestly, the red with the black, you just can't go wrong. That car looks amazing. Really the only drawbacks I can think of is, in my opinion, it's a supercar. If you look up the specs, the Audi R8, the Ferrari 458, it's definitely a supercar, but because it has the pre-existing Corvette um, name and Corvette's a sports car, people won't give it its credit. So they'll say, oh, you're driving a sports car, it's just a Corvette. I'm like, no, that's a supercar. You can't tell me anything different. Uh, I could have went, say, around 165, 170, but you know, if there's any cops watching, I kept it around 85. This is done in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, this is done in Mexico. Ah, tires are expensive, but I, I may have done a burnout or two. May have, may have tried a donut or two here and there. That, that thing can move. That thing can definitely move. I actually have not done any mods because I'm going to resell the car. So I wouldn't want to put, say, an exhaust on it and then either have to take the exhaust off when I sell it and then try to sell that back for a price or you try to include the price of the exhaust into the price of the car when I sell it. I would say the best thing about owning the Corvette is you have a supercar at a regular sports car price. The C8 is a great investment because, I mean, you can buy it for around 60 to 80K if you really wanted to. Of course, you can get more and more uh, specs the higher you go up, but you can always resell that car for about 20 grand profit. Baby that thing. Baby, it's gonna be worth a lot of money one day. That thing's an amazing car. Right now we are in Lance's C8 Corvette, the eighth generation Corvette. The engineers finally got their wish and we have a mid-engine Corvette. 
So let's take it for a ride. I can tell you right off top that this car is very much a driver focus, driver centric. Everything is for the driver, right? You have your gears, you have your CarPlay, Apple Play, dash is digital. Everything about this, it's almost like a what the NSX should have been just by sitting in the cockpit, the way it looks and everything. But now we are going to take it for a drive. Roof line slopes, but you have clear visibility. Pinners or pillars are not too thick. You do have a little blind spot right here, but it's not too bad. Suspension is not very, I would say stiff. It's soft the way I like it. Cause you know, as you get older, you start losing stiffness. <laughs> All right, so let's take it on the main road to see how this bad boy feels. Now, the, now you feel the V8 power in this car. That V8 power is really punchy, very punchy. Um, I like the V8 power in this Corvette a lot. I like the way the interior is. Nothing feels like cheap plastic in here. Everything feels expensive. Everything feels premium. This feels like go, a $60,000 car. Thank you, ma'am. This feels every bit of a, of a American supercar. And quite frankly, I would buy this over a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. It's affordable. You know, parts are ready available. It's American made. It has that American pride in it. And you know, the Corvette is a staple in Chevy. This is the eighth generation since the fifties, right? This is the first GM production car since the Pontiac Fiero stopped production in 1988, right? So everything about this Corvette is a car guy's dream. Power delivery punchy there's a lot of it you have a beautiful v8 i can't wait to to open it up just a little bit here once we get to this main road uh what are your thoughts yo uh it feels great just being into the passenger seat honestly the way it drives the way it sounds um I do like how it's kind of like a space shuttle, spaceship on your side, mm -hmm. for the where it's driver, uh, driver base focused. I think that's pretty cool. Um, no, there's not really any cool specs on the passenger side. I'll say that. Yeah, you know what? And this is what I do like about the car. It's no nonsense. Like when you're in the passenger seat, you're just cruising. You're riding. The driver has all of the control. I feel like I'm in a fighter jet, and that's why I say this is what the NSX should have been when it was reborn. It should have been pure motor. Uh, this has a V8. It should have been maybe an inline six or a V6. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. We were already at 70 miles an hour in like two seconds. Okay, let me just say this. I've driven a lot of cars in my lifetime. This car already, just from driving it for the few minutes that I've driven it, will be the next car that I purchase in three years, four years, if I can afford it in three to four years. This car feels incredible. That power you you'll you'll never get sick of it. You'll never get sick. These ooh, these seats are actually really nice too. I actually like the way these seats feel a lot. They kind of hug you. I could see this being like a GT sports exotic car that you take on long trips, right? So it's it's. I'm gonna punch it one more time. I'm I'm gonna have to punch it one more time just to just to feel it in action. Gas tank's almost full. 
230 mile range I could see it being at a clear you know once it's at full tank about 300 this feels every bit of sports car when you're in the interior it feels every bit of sports car whether you like it whether you dislike it whether you want it to be like the old Corvettes this car is so unique that Chevrolet has literally done it they made an affordable exotic American made sports car with an all motor V8 pushing 400 plus horsepower that the power's there at will this car is what every car guy dreams about because when you're in your early 20s for a lot of us you can't afford this type of car then you get to your 30s and you've been in your career for a while and you start looking for cars and you, you kind of go up from your Hondas to you start looking at your STIs and your Evos then as you get to your mid 30s and 40s you tend to have a lot more income that you start looking at the Corvettes you start looking at the Lotuses you start looking at those cars that kind of creep up in price this car in my opinion even the base model right now we're in the, the, the Stingray at 60,000 70,000 80,000 this car is an absolute steal and it doesn't get better than this car this turning radius is awesome let's punch it well <laughs> I'm telling you nice handling too this it, it feels so planted very stable yeah super stable it feels so planted this is what everybody wants in a supercar. This is what everybody wants in a sports car, in a GT car. Look, I'm about 5'11", right? I have plenty of headroom. This is my favorite car that I've ever driven. This is my favorite car that I've ever driven. You know what this car is? It's a humble beast. For sure, it's a humble beast. Leo, get the door. Got it. Sometimes you have to become the monster to save the one you love. Your mother's labs came back in. The cancer is spreading fast. She does need surgery. Um, without that payment, tomorrow she's going to be discharged. In two days, we're gonna route Chino. Come on, Chino! God! Come on, man, I have a family! Don't do this shit, man! I mean, there's gotta be another way. There is no other way, Leo! If we don't rob Chino right now, my mom is as good as dead! Oh, my God.